Of course, um, with regards to um, translation assessment from English into Arabic, uh, here we find that uh, in English, for example, Edgar Rice Burroughs and the date of birth and death, Tarazan of the Apes, Out to Sea. This story began towards the close of the 19th century during the reign of Queen Victoria. At that time, the British Empire was at its uh, zenith and a large part of the huge continent of Africa was under its domination, dominion. The rest of the continent was colonized by other European powers. A young nobleman called John Clayton, Lord Greystoke, was sent by the colonial office on a mission to the British colonies on the west uh, coast of Africa. He was to investigate the rumor that another European power was recruiting the natives to collect by force ivory and rubber from the tribes along the Congo and Aruimi, Aruimi um, rivers. Aruimi, Arumimi rivers. John Clayton was a strong man mentally, morally, and physically. He was above average height, his eyes were gray, and his um, features uh, regular and strong. He was still young when he was entrusted with this, this important mission in the service of the Queen. Thanks to his past good service, services, uh, th that this would be a stepping stone to a post to posts of greater importance and responsibility he knew. On the other hand, he had been married to Alice Rutherford for scarcely three months and uh, thought of taking his fair young girl into the dangers of tropical Africa dismayed him. That thought dismayed him. For her, for her sake, he would have refused the appointment, but he would, she would not have it so. Instead, she insisted that he accepted and indeed uh, take her with him. The officers of Fualda uh, were a bunch of bullies, and like all bullies, they cringed before their superiors and trod on, trod on their interiors, inferiors. They hated their crew, and their crew reciprocated uh, to the full their hatred. The captain was a brute, was a brute in his treatment of his men. So it was that from the second day out from Freetown, Lord Greystock and his wi young wife witnessed distressing scenes upon the deck of the Fawalda. So, and then the last part here. His face was red with rage and the captain got to his feet with a mighty blow knocked down the sailor who was small and rather old. The other seaman, however, was a huge bear of a man with a fierce dark moustache and a great bull neck set between massive shoulders. Massive shoulders. As he saw his mate go down, he crouched and with a snarl sprang upon the uh, captain, crushing him to his knees. Without getting up, the officer whipped a revolver from his pocket and fired point blank, blank at the great bear of a man before him. But quick as he was, Lord Greystoke was quick. He pushed up, pushed down rather, the captain's arm so that the bullet, the bullet which was aimed at the sailor's heart, struck him inside instead in, in the leg struck him instead in the leg now that is really what is the original text okay now when we go back to the um, original uh, so we go back to the beginning and see the arabic you will see that there are i'm not going to read the arabic very much i'm going to actually just bring it closer and zoom it in so you can look at it, okay? I will sort of roughly read some parts of it, but I have chosen only parts, uh, the English and that matches the Arabic in this story that's been translated by um, the author of this, of, of the book that I am actually 
uh, using at the moment, uh, which was published in 2005, the book, <coughs> by the author, who is an academic from Egypt. Now, of course, as I said to you before, that one of the followers has been kind enough to provide me with these texts that I can actually then analyze and assess. Now, my plan is the same as the last two videos that I have done, which is that I will show you the source text and the target text, and this is the target text, and then I will comment on it in the following uh, video so that you can actually then know what kind of, um, uh, what kind of um, issues that you come across, if any. Um, for example, at the bottom, this is the bottom of that part as well, which you need to actually look at as well. So I am sort of trying to um, introduce to you these, um, the source text and the target text here, the Arabic, so that you can read it quite closely, and I will be discussing it later in the following uh, recording. Uh, I will be discussing some of the issues that are raised. Uh, of course, if the translation as is, is really a good, actually very strong translation, uh, I must admit. Uh, but um, uh, then we move on to the second um, piece in Arabic. This is the uh, Arabic here, Kana Dubbat Safina, Folda. I am not going to read it in Arabic because it, it's very clear what it is, what, what's being said. You can easily read it and see what's been um, uh, um, translated. And that will help you in, this is the last part, uh, which will be in the Arabic. I want you to really pause uh, these uh, three different sections that I have actually chosen um, so that you can then decide what are the issues that are uh, problematic uh, or can need require a better, uh, you know, kind of um, rendering. Now, of course, there are good points here. عريض من كبين وضربه ضربة ساحقة This is... Uh, um, of course, المفعول مطلق, absolute, absolute object, uh, which is quite, um, I have to, after I've discussed it in my book, uh, 2013, Arabic English Syntax in Translation, 2013, um, by Arachne in Rome, um, where I talked about this kind of ضربه ضربة ساحقة, which is the المفعول المطلق. And there is quite a good uh, um, collocations like غليظو غليظو العنق عريض من كبين أسود uh, يعني أسود أشعث and so on. So it's quite uh, and then رأى رفيق رفيقه سريعا إنحنا. I like I like the translation. I like that really. It's a very very good, very strong translation. And of course my um, recordings or my comments on this, uh, which will be in the next video, immediately after this one, um, I will be showing you some of the elements which require more attention. Okay? So please prepare well. There is about five to six points that are, are really um, need serious attention in this translation that I've showed you in Arabic. Uh, of the English script.